What's up guys? In this edition of Grilling with Gator, we're uh, going to do a little bit longer uh, cook this time. First time trying on my uh, Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Grill. We're going to put a 8 pound uh, Boston butt on there. I'll prep it up here and uh, bring it to you. So, got our mustard. We're going to... Eh, we can trim some of this fat. Not a whole lot there. It's it's pretty good. It's not very. It's pretty good there. So we're gonna I get some mustard on it. I'm gonna rub it down. So our. Rub is going to stick to it nice. Got a couple extra sets of gloves here too, just uh, just in case here, because you know we always like to. It always seems like I, I always suggest having some extra gloves just to. This can be a messy process. Alright, uh, rub I'm going to put on there is, just trying it out, it's a Blackstone all-purpose hickory smoked rub. We got the mustard on it, and rub it over, rub it liberally. Notice I've got the fat side down right now, because we're going to cook it fat side up, but get the, that rub all over it. There we go, look at that. Good. There we go. Got some other edge in there. Oh yeah, that one's gotta get done. Look at that. Alright. That's done. Flip it over. I love it. That mustard was almost gone, so we're gonna First things first, before we mustard this side, we're going to score it. Kind of score it kind of deep. And we're going to cross score it. This, this uh, like I said, this uh, cook, opposed to some of the other stuff that I've been doing, is going to take, uh, well, about five hours or so. We're uh, we're gonna try to get that internal temperature to uh, between 195 and 205 pounds or, or degrees. Got that nice and stored up, looking good. Get some mustard down on that. Rubbed in there real good. No, I'm my own cameraman still, so it's uh, you know, there's gonna be pauses and stuff in in between here. So, all right, let's get some of that good rub on there. Nice, <coughs> nice and liberal on that. You can hear my dogs must be seeing something out there. Uh, 30 degree day out today okay so I'm gonna take this on out and uh, we'll get around the grill back in a few all right I've got uh, brought the Boston butt out here we're gonna get the grill set up real quick got my internal I bought the, the pro version of the wood fire grill, so I've got a meat thermometer built in. I've seen a lot of people use, you know, their own, you know, their own I've seen. There's quite a few good ones out on the market. So, well, you know, I mean, a lot of, some people like doing the Bluetooth ones. It's just, uh, so, yeah, stick that in. Uh, get that 
as deep as possible. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to have to use my trusty uh, pork uh, apron here. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to get that set. I'm use, still using the uh, pellets that came with the grill. I'm using the Robust Blend uh, for, uh, or no, this is the all-purpose blend, I'm sorry. The all-purpose blend for uh, this. Uh, filled up the side there. I probably, since it's going to take such a long cook, I mean, in the, in my past ones, I've taken even like the pork style, or the country uh, style ribs, that didn't need, that took just barely over an hour. I mean, it didn't even take a full one. I fully anticipate maybe having to refill this at once, but we're still talking a half a cup a, a, a per uh, per fill. So, so we're gonna turn it on the smoker, 250 degrees. This is set for time set, but we don't want time set. We're gonna go to uh, manual. And that's going to change it to the uh, probe time, or the probe temp, which we want to get up to. Like I said, we're going to go between, I said 195 and 200. I'm going to, or, or 205. I'm going to set it, especially as thick as this thing is, I'm going to set it at 200. That way we get it, it'll be set pretty good. And smoker set. And, you know, so they show about uh, preheating or, you know, doing the ignition process. I like to put the meat in, you know, during the ignition process. You know, it doesn't hurt it. It gives it a little bit more smoke. It's not going to hurt it at all. Um, you won't get a smoke ring out of it. I have not so far gotten a really good smoke ring out of, out of anything I've cooked. But the smoky flavor is there with this for sure. So we'll start that. And uh, again, the 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 ignition process is going since it's on the smoker. So, uh, you can do the uh, the smoking the wood fire pellets with any of them. You would just have to hit the flavor button and stuff. That's either in uh, grilling, air air uh, smoker, air air crisp, baking, roasting, or broiling, or dehydrating. Um, it it, it it like it does provide a lot of smoke. So like I said, we're gonna let this go here, 250 degrees. We want the temperature of the the meat to get around 195 to 200. Uh, everything I've seen should be around four to five hours. But I'm gonna come back before that because we're gonna maybe we're gonna douse it with a little bit of uh, we're gonna hydrate it here in, in about two hours. So uh, see you then. All right, <clears throat> been about two hours. <clears throat> She's still smoking, but we're going to check on our pellets anyways. You look in there. There's still some pellets, but it's burned down some, so we're going to add some pellets. And then what you do is after you add, when you add the little pellets, you go ahead and you have to hit the ignition button again, and it'll reignite those pellets. Uh, we're going to do that. And, uh, you know, I've got the little... And like I said, this is a little tiny measuring cup is what they what what they use. We're gonna get some pellets out. Sorry about that. Left my tripod there. Get a few pellets in there. Don't think I need to do a full because there's still some in there. A full a full a full measure of this. A, a full cup or a full one of these fills that up. So since there's still some in there. I don't think we need to do a full. Now I'm going to try to hold this open with uh, my hand here, my camera hand. Yeah, we could probably put a couple more in there, but like I said, I think we're going good. Uh, temperature's up to 140. And I think we're also going to, another thing we're going to do is, I said we were going to hydrate it a little bit. So let's take a look at it. We're going to lift the lid. 
Oh, looking pretty good. Nice and juicy. But we're going to, what I'm spritzing on here is some apple cider vinegar with some water. A little bit, about, about a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Not quite as much water. And then, you know, some of that same uh, rub. And I kind of whisked it together. So we're putting that together in there. Like I said, smoker, uh, they're, they're still smoking. And uh, give it a little hydration there. These should catch. We'll be good to go. All right. Back in a bit. All right. <clears throat> We're almost there. And it's taking about, uh, I will say this is taking about uh, a little over five and a half hours. I wonder if that's because of the... Uh, the uh, uh, temperature outside, and I am outside, so um, added uh, chips or added uh, pellets one time. Maybe could have added another one, but I think it'll come out pretty smoky. As soon as we get there, here we're almost there. I don't know. I guess I could probably just call it good at one ninety nine, but. I think we're going to do that. We'll call her good at 199 All right. I'm looking at it. Here's some nice, beautiful. I'm sorry I'm reaching across my light, but got my some turkey uh, or lifters here. So we're gonna get this up. Oh man, it just they just sink right in. Beautiful. Transfer that over to a cookie sheet. And uh I'll take her inside and we'll start tearing her apart. Alright, well, we got her inside. I'm let it sit a little bit while it's while uh, I put the grill back in the garage and everything. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. You got these little always fun the little chef's bits. Well, uh, these chunks that that we scored. And me, I kind of I like it with my uh, homemade uh, Carolina Gold sauce. Hmm. Almost like a, you know, little burnt ends type thing. Mmm, smoky, luscious. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just coming all apart. Look at that juice. Oh, wow. And yep, <laughs> it's, it's still pretty warm. But, uh, wow, just melt away. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and, she's still a little hot to the touch. We're going to try it with a, get it off the, oh, we're going to come off the bone like that. Oh, man. You can't ask for more than that. Pulled pork. Oh, geez. Just come. Look at that bone. Probably, you know, they say that when you have a, a, a pulled pork, the bone is completely clean, that that's kind of what you're, you want. So, yeah, maybe a couple more minutes would have uh, been all right with that. But, uh, I don't know. Again, this stuff is just falling apart look at that beautiful and there you go pulled pork uh, 
out of a pork butt, eight pound pork butt. <clears throat> Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Grill. See you next time.